Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to open up January with a new kind of idea that I've got for my blog and it is a book club. Now this isn't just any book club where we're talking about fictional books, this is a book club for people who are interested in natural things, maybe herbalism, seasonal living and all that sort of slow living goodness that I love to chat about here on the YouTube channel and also on my blog. So today I have a really beautiful book that I wanted to share with you for the January book club um, and I'm going to be showing you that in a second but first I just wanted to talk through how the book club works. So if you're interested in taking part in the January book club all you have to do is go and join my Facebook group, which I'll link below. And once you've done that, there'll be a post up on the Facebook group where we can chat about the book and share our favorite little bits of it or any insights that we get from reading this book. So without further ado, here is the January book club choice. It is the beautiful The Wild Remedy by Emma Mitchell. Now, some of you will already know Emma from her incredibly popular and beautiful Instagram account, which is at silverpebble2. And she's also written another book, which is called Making Winter. This book has just come out. So it came out at the end of December. I'm recording this just at the start of January. So I felt like this would be a perfect book for us all to read together. It is all about her I guess really how nature has really helped her mindset. Um, I know that she struggled with depression and nature was really the cure for her. And also it's just really someone who's passionate about nature and the seasons. And it goes through month by month, um, exploring all the different things she sees that month and how she feels and sort of how the seasons affect her mindset. It's really, really beautiful. I've already read a few chapters of it and I was blown away actually by the quality of the writing in this. She is a superb writer. Um, I didn't realize that she was so good at writing, but she's also wonderful at taking photos and she does lovely little illustrations as well. So this is a real pleasure to have on my bedside table. Um, I'll give you a peek of the inside of it now as well. So I'm just going to read the blurb about this book so you get a better idea of what it's about. Emma Mitchell has suffered with depression, or as she calls it, the grey slug, for 25 years. In, tw in 2003, she moved from the city to the edge of the Cambridgeshire Fens and began to take walks in the countryside around her home, photographing, collecting and drawing as she went. Each walk lifted her mood, proving to be as medicinal as any talking therapy or pharmaceutical. In Emma's hand illustrated diary, she takes us with her as she follows the paths and trails around her home and further afield, sharing her nature finds and tracking the lives of local flora and fauna over the course of a year. Reflecting on how these encounters impact her mood, Emma's unfailing honest and affecting account of her own struggles with mental health is a powerful testament on how reconnecting with nature may offer us all some answers. While charting her own seasonal highs and sometimes devastating lows, she also looks to the science behind these changes, calling on new research into the ways in which our bodies and minds respond to plants and wildlife and w when we venture outdoors. Written with Emma's characteristic wit and frankness and filled with beautiful drawings, paintings and photography, this is a truly unique book for anyone who has ever felt the draw of nature and wondered about its influence over us. So if you would like to join the book club, go check out the link below and head over to my Facebook group and we will be chatting all about this. I'll be showing some photos from inside and um, hopefully I will get to chat to Emma at some point on the podcast. I haven't asked her this at all, um, so she might be thinking, no way, but hopefully I might be able to get in contact with her and we can have an interview as well on the Nature and Nourish podcast. That would be amazing. But yes, really excited to read this, to crack into this. I think everyone will benefit from this. It will inspire us all to get outside, embrace these two months of winter ahead of us, 
and also inspire us to live more seasonally and naturally. So thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe, head over to my Instagram, follow me there and make sure you also subscribe to my newsletter on my blog. All links are below as, as usual and also I have a link for that book below as well. So again, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.